Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another reaction video. Today I'm going to react to SCS Rogue Heroes episode number 5 already. Uh, the last episode was another great episode. Um, the guys went on another mission again and you know, Paddy Main did pretty well. Uh, he, he extended his lead with, uh, I think it was like 24 planes or so. And uh, Sterling, he came up empty-handed once again um, because there was a large convoy heading towards the airstrip that he was supposed to um you know bomb and um you know but the the entire episode was basically about jacques lewis and um you know he got killed in that episode i did not see that coming um you know like i said in the beginning when i started these reactions i know absolutely nothing about this tv show so i need to read up on that and i need to read up on the on these guys as well uh, so i had no idea uh, that he was going to die and i I have no idea if the rest of the guys are going to survive. I don't. I know nothing. You know, sometimes that's a blessing because you can go into a TV show with, without any, um, yeah, things you know, things that are going to happen. Um, it's refreshing because a lot of stuff that uh, movies, you know, like war movies and historical movies, you kind of know what's going to happen and if the main character dies or not. Um, I had no idea in in this case. So yeah, it came as a shock. Um, it was pretty obvious from the start of the episode that there was something going to happen to him because they were setting it all up with his uh, fiance, fiance and you know uh, him wanting to marry her and he thought she didn't want to. Uh, in the end, the letter came back uh, and it said that she did want to marry him, but yeah, he died. He got left out in the desert. I have no idea if that's really the case, if he's still out there or if, or if they retrieved his body or anything. I don't know. Um, so yeah, pretty shocking episode and. Uh, you know, Sterling was uh, devastated over over the loss. Paddy Main was also pretty shocked about it. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it will continue in this episode without Jock, um, because they have to train. I think the f yeah the French paratroopers are going to be added to the team. Um, uh, Paddy Main was instructed to uh, instruct to teach them. Um, you know, he wasn't too happy about that. So <laughs> yeah, we'll see how that goes. And um, so yeah, let's let's go. Let's dive into it. Let's go. Man, the place looks rough. I think you would be uh, pretty bored out there. Nothing to do. No, oh, are these the French? Damn. I would suggest that we form up into ranks and straight lines for a formal military greeting with salutes and all. Guys look pretty rough as well. <laughs> that would give them a rather false impression of who we are. Hey, sir, will you want to share that a sheesh like? Offer it only if asked. Are we worried there? I had no idea what he just said. <laughs> the accent is tough. If there will be no infantile abuse or counterproductive stereotyping for any reason whatsoever. Even if it transpires at the unwashed. I think you're telling the wrong guys. <laughs> God's sake, this is Paddy Main's welcoming party. Where the bloody hell is he? Yeah, Paddy wasn't too excited to. Uh... To be training the guys. Oh, oh there he bastard. is. Perhaps instead you should read poetry to one another and then wrestle naked in the sand to see. Never wrestle naked in the sand. Sand under the foreskin is one of the most painful medical conditions imaginable. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> A couple of uh, foreign legion guys in there with the white caps. Well, actually, Paddy speaks French. No, he fucking doesn't. <laughs> dog, and your men speak dog. So, we will communicate as dogs. And four of my men are fluent in German, but Sergeant Essen is the real thing. Ooh, Mr. That will come in handy. How real are you, Sergeant Essner? I am a real soldier. Expect to be isolated by my contempt. Yes, sir. <laughs> Actually, there are two of us. He speaks German as well. He is Jewish, and his entire family including his two children, 
We take him to the camps. He has made a vow to kill as many Nazis as he can. Yeah. Pull the pin. Throw me where the enemy is most numerous. We have use for men like him. Yeah. He's uh, very motivated. We're going to be taking a guest with us. His first name is Randolph. His second name is Churchill. His father Winston has heard about us and wants to know more, so... Oh! ...in the fun. Uh -huh. But please, feel free to treat him as badly as you treat everyone else. <laughs> Too right. <wide. laughs> no problem. <laughs> so you will have to use your initiative. Is there a French word for initiative? Probably. <laughs> How do we divide? Germans. Jews, non-French legionnaires against the French. No, we do not divide ourselves that way. I have just divided you in that way. You must ask why. Why? Very fucking good. <laughs> yeah. You must ask why, because if you know why you were carrying out your mission, when things fuck up, you will know how to achieve what you set out to achieve in a different way. As a general rule, I'll be shooting at anybody who stands still. So don't stand still. <laughs> That's a good incentive to move, yeah. <laughs> Donc, motivez-vous. Et au boulot, les gars. Oh, oh. Oh. Like this is all a wee bit unfair. Fucking please feel free to try and do something about it. I think he's joking, but uh, they don't know Betty Main yet. So you're going to just drive into Benghazi and plant the explosives? Oh, yes. That's the plan. I like plans that can be explained with one breath. Mm. They're really going at it. <laughs> oh, he's slacking. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh. He's showing initiative. <laughs> so I'm coming. I have you. Get on your feet. Put your hands in the air. Stupid. Yubia! <laughs> Fuck off! What say you, Professor? One go each. Oh, little Russian roulette. Stop! <laughs> Mav! <sighs> yep, he's crazy. You would do this purely to discover that I'm not you. Yeah, that's it. <sighs> now he knows. <laughs> Maybe I think he will do it. Lesson learned about men and the motivation of men. Oh shit! <laughs> now let's see how it goes. It's a busy checkpoint. Do the same, just in case you have to go out with a bang. How's the old man? Oh, you know he's keeping busy. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, Germans behind him as well. Fuck. No, no, that's good. That's good. Via, via, via. It looks like they. Oh, a dandy. Even more good luck. That they're supposed to be together, so maybe it's a good thing. Absolutely no. It looks like the guy from Allo Allo, the Italian officer. Absolutely no. Senti, perché non controlli solo il numero sul cartuccio? This Italian is pretty good. Level la sabbia. Forse il numero è coperto dalla sabbia. I have no idea what they're talking about. I think the beards would give it away, right? I don't think German soldiers would have beards. Maybe they were not even allowed. I'm not sure, but... I don't think I've ever seen a picture or a piece of video with a German with a beard, so... Bye. 
Oh, if those guys start talking to them, they are they are in trouble. Oh shit, they're following. Oh. That's a dead end, sir. Fuck. Did a good job. No one divides us, Lieutenant Main. Lieutenant, I think he was a captain. He's promoted right. That's pretty high. We're jumping. Because why the fuck not? <laughs> Somebody's gonna break the ankle. <laughs> oh damn, they really did it. Ah, that sound alone. Ooh. Damn, I hope he's okay. Stand by. Go. Just do it, man. Come on. Get that out of the way now. That is a fucking order. On the left. Allez, on retire. Yeah, everybody did it, so he has to do it as well. Oh, he goes. <laughs> he has to work on his landing, but uh, at least he did it. <laughs> I think this is their most daring mission yet. Look how many soldiers there are. If their cover is blown, they're pretty much fucked. That uh, would be pretty impressive. The, uh, they can take that out. I have to look it up about the beards. I don't think German soldiers were allowed to have beards, but I have to look it up. Oh, searchlight, walk, walk normally. I have to convince them that we're Germans. Look, 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 they don't! The amount of tanks are now! Say the Tedeschi! What did he say? Yeah. I don't think that was even German. Look, look, they don't. Family! Run. Oh, the alarm goes off. Shh. There are so many enemy soldiers there. Oh shit. Oh, they're searching the truck now. We have about four minutes. Yeah, but when the bomb goes off, they can use that chaos as a way to escape. They just set up roadblocks. Why are they searching the truck? It's a German truck, so I don't get it. Charlie Tedeschi non hanno la barba. Siamo ingegneri. I tedeschi sapevano che era un'esercitazione, ma gli italiani no. Why don't we have English subtitles? 
alcuni italiani ci hanno creduto. <ride> Presto verranno degli ispettori a controllare come avete reagito alle sirene. Yes, on reflection, turn the light in your nostril. I said it. How do you have to get uh, past the checkpoint? Now, we're next to the city, especially one where you have created a good deal of chaos. Be much less. That's one way to do it. <laughs> so what do you say to your father when we get back to London? I will say, holy, holy, holy fuck. <laughs> Loving somebody can make you too fond of life, which can turn you into a cow. Cow. Hustle. Oh, man. They're going to set him off. My friend, they're just playing. Huh? It's just the piano. Not to him. Here we go. Man. <laughs> Man. Calm down, Pud. Captain Maine. Get out. Captain Maine. Whatever is the cause of your pain, you have my deepest sympathy. Don't do it, man. A couple of souvenirs from Benghazi. What's left? <laughs> I sent you out in an Opal Blitz and you come back in a fucking pram and a handcart. Oh. Oh. Your journey was wasted. Who told you he was being picked up here? Dudley Clark? Of course. The other reason I came was to see how you were. Thank you. And how is Dudley Clark responding to all the glory? Not so good. ...for your destruction. Nope. Gonna have sex in the desert. Better watch out for sand under the foreskin. <laughs> Why the fuck are they not training? I think they uh, adjusted pretty quick. <laughs> My men have refused to work under Captain Main's command. My men have decided that he's a madman. Oh, he is. One has broken jaws, one has three broken ribs, and among the broken bottles on the floor, you'll find several teeth. All right, I will speak to him. I knew you would make a fucking useless training officer. I knew you would. Did you fight them? Because they're French. <laughs> and Germans. Do you need to forget about Owen McGonagall? There. That was me pulling a knife. It's best for you to leave this tent. He's right, too. I'll not apologize. I am gradually coming round to the notion that they might actually be good men. <laughs> Took you long enough. Mm. 
We have a proper feast. <laughs> We're not very hungry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Future jollies together and the defeat of fascism. So that was episode number five of SCS Rogue Heroes. Only one episode left. I'm kind of sad when it's going to end because, uh, yeah, I said it before, it's a great show. And uh, this was another great episode. Uh, kind of different, uh, not as much action, but we got a lot of tension when the guys went on their mission and they were held up at the checkpoint. Uh, with some really tense moments there. And also when they went into the city, some really tense moments and they managed to blow up some stuff there. So, But the main focus of this episode was, of course, Paddy Main training the French. And... Um, yeah, they, I think they didn't expect to encounter a guy like Paddy Main training them. And, um, you know, he told them to build a scaffold in the middle of the desert. But I think they were introduced to how these kinds of units work. A little bit off the books and a little bit different than regular units. And uh, they got a little taste of that. And, um, yeah, Paddy Main is clearly a character <laughs> with a lot of issues. And, uh, you know, the death of his friend is still haunting him. And... You know, Sterling called him out at the end, said you have to get over it, and uh, it seems like at the end of the episode, you know, he kind of came around, and, uh, you know, maybe they can work together now in the last episode, and, uh, yeah, so it looks like a pretty decent group of guys, and uh, they need the manpower, so, yeah, we'll see how it goes, and, uh, you know, can't wait to, to dive into the last episode, I think I'm going to start recording right now because I want to see how it ends. And I um, hope you can join me on the next one again. If you like this video, maybe you consider subscribing. It will really help out the channel. And uh, yeah, see you on the next one.